Hi, Danny here again on my third video on paralleling lead acid and LIFEPO4 lithium. And a lot of people have opined that this is a very risky thing to do. And I think it must be risky because I'm not an expert, but I have seen some videos by Clark and Emily and they're great videos and so it caused me to do this experiment and i think you might be interested in it if you approach it as an experiment and then maybe just try to use it sometime on your boat so i'm gonna roll my experiment see you on the next video there's a brief video on how to add lithium in this case uh, 100 and 50 amp hour lithium to my existing 400 amp hour lead, lead acid banks. So what I've done here is I've paralleled my two flood, flooded lead acid batteries and I have an existing Balmar voltage uh, regulator and alternator. So what I'm doing is I'm connecting that, those components directly to my lead acid which is just the stock configuration and all i've done was added a uh, 150 amp hour lithium life life po4 battery uh, with um, an mrbf fuse and all i did was added this on off uh, switch to that so in this video i'm just experimenting on how you'd go about charging your lithium battery. Um, I've got other videos on solar connections, but in this video, I'm just experimenting charging um, my Life, LifePo 4 battery with ex the existing setup on my boat. And so what we're able to do then is uh, um, manually stop charging at 13.8 when I when I flip this switch uh, but it doesn't seem like I need to flip it too much um, I add um, I just added lithium with this low-cost switch to uh, to uh, my existing setup so it was kind of a minimal cost system that I'm showing that I'm experimenting here and then um, you're going to be able to keep your boat as is and just basically add capacity with this lithium battery and then you'll have the the reliable uh, um, flooded lead acid batteries now if you not didn't want to do this uh, manual switch there are other switches that are um, smart um, there are smart switches that you could deploy, and I'll do another video on that. I'm kind of working on it, but on a real slow rate, and I just wanted to do some experimentation. The rest of this video is just showing you what I've done, um, the true measurements that that um, that I've uh, witnessed in this experiment. Now, this is experimental. Um, you could stop watching the video now. The following parts of the video are just showing you what kind of readings I was getting uh, with the lithium and the lead acid and um, what what my charging rates were with the Balmar, showing you that I wasn't going to burn out my uh, alternator. Here's an example where I'm charging my LIFEPO 4 batteries with a alternator with a Balmar alt alternator and a uh, Balmar uh, voltage regulator and the Balmar is charging my lead acid battery it's connected directly to my lead acid battery and it's charging that at it's trying to achieve 14.4, but the lead acid battery voltage I'm reading right now is 14.26, as you can see. So now the configuration I have, I've got my uh, battery here. Um, I've got 
got this thing, uh, my BMS and my lithium battery uh, uh, attached in parallel. And so you can see I've got 13.35 uh, I've got another meter on that too, 13.34. So what, when they're parallel, what the Valmar voltage regulator is seeing is 14.33. So he, he doesn't really want to give that provide much current um, when the voltage differential between 14.4 and 14.33 is, is great. So I'm not able to really charge at a very high rate as I may like to. On the other hand, I won't burn out my, uh, my alternator. Here's an example where I'm restricting my alternator at some time. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it off, take the restriction off. And you see I'm up to 22 right now. Now what I'm going to do is take the restriction, put the restriction back on to 50% and I'm still 22. So what I'm being limited now is the, I'm being limited now by the algorithm in the voltage regulator where it's not going to burn itself up. I'm recharging at a very reasonably low rate here of 18. Now we can take a look at what the lead acid battery state is it's in this parallel mode. And as you can see, we're charging at a very, very low rate to lead acid. And, um, and it's a 100% state of charge. And we're just charging at a low rate.